I met David outside of our English class portable on the first day of grade 10. My friend walked me to class and introduced me to some people she knew, and David was one of them. My first impression was that she was very shy, but for some reason it intrigued me a little bit. There was something about her that I just thought I need to get to know her more and I need to not mess this up somehow. I need to be friends with her. A part of me always knew that I wanted to be with Dave since that first time I talked to him. As we got closer and slowly began spending all of our time together, the idea of spending forever together just seemed right. When I first started proposing, it was going to be a lot later. I started looking at rings and just thought, there's no way that I can wait. I just needed to do it. I pointed out that we would be decorating the Christmas tree and then at the end I would explain to her that you know I want to start a tradition where we always buy each other an ornament. Um, and then he went downstairs and he's like, oh I have a new ornament and in the box was an ornament that said, will you marry me? So he went down on one knee and he was holding the ring. Now we are gathered here to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Today, Michaela and David's relationship changes. All of us here knows it's going to grow, it's going to become stronger, and it's going to become better. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. Michaela, I am so lucky to be standing up here with you today, more in love than ever before. I've always dreamt this day would come and I'm so thankful for everything that has brought us here today. Somehow at such a young age, I knew with the utmost confidence that I had found the love of my life and that what we had was something that would last a lifetime. I know what scares you, what makes you anxious, and what makes you sad. And while I can't always protect you from these things, I do promise to always be right by your side as you face them so that you don't have to forget that you never have to do it alone. I promise to always remind you how beautiful you are inside and out and how happy you make me feel every day. There is no better feeling in this world than waking up knowing that I get to spend another day with you by my side. David, I can't believe today is really here. If anyone would have told my 15-year-old self on that first day of school in 2009 that almost 10 years later I would be standing here marrying you, I probably would have thought they were crazy. But here we stand, and I wouldn't want this or the years spent together any other way. What I have come to realize in looking back over the many different places we have lived is that home is not a physical space or place. Home is when we are together. You are home for me. I know that I never want to be without you. You are my first love and my only love, and with that, I promise to love you unconditionally forever. So David, you have been the greatest addition to our family. I'm so thankful to have you as a big brother with whom I can laugh with and cry with. I have no doubt that you are the perfect man for Michaela. 
Your sensitivity, kindness, and patience gives me all the confidence that Michaela will be taken care of and treated just as she deserves. Michaela, since the days I called you Minnow, I have thrived to be just as amazing of a person as you are. Even though we bickered and you bossed me around as little girls, you've helped me to become the person I am today. You have shown me strength, respect, and confidence that I will carry with me forever. I don't think anyone is surprised that we're at this day at your wedding. We always kind of had that feeling that you guys were meant to be. I really do think that you guys complete each other and that you fulfill each other. Michaela, we're so happy to have you joining our family officially, even though it feels like you've been part of our family for years. Michaela, for the past 20 years, you have always been the Ashley to my Mary Kate. <laughs> your voice will forever be my inner whisper, and I will forever be willing to be your utter voice. This is a happy day for me, as I can now say, Mikhail has found her soulmate, and I couldn't be more proud of the two of them. We will always have fond memories of hanging out with the kids when they lived in Toronto, taking weekend trips and vacations together. We are so proud of our little David. He has grown into such a wonderful young man, so smart, funny, warm and loving. We are thrilled that he found someone just as warm and loving and we couldn't be happier for both of them. My daughter, Michaela Emily Marie, fell in love, and today she has gotten married, is going to spend her life with her best friend, someone else who loves her to the moon and back again. I love the couple that you have become. You have goals, you have dreams, and you have an amazing future ahead of you. I can't promise that there will never be dark clouds or tough roads or sadness in our life, but I can promise you that even when things get tough, I will be the one standing next to you holding your hand. Michaela, I promise to never forget how lucky I am to share in this life with you.